Friends describe him as a man who loved his family and cared about his community. He even helped get a bill passed that extends benefits to the families of Kentucky firefighters who die of certain types of cancer. Today, hundreds of people gathered to say goodbye to Lexington firefighter Matt Loxton, who died from cancer last week. His funeral was held this afternoon in Louisville, where he lived. This video is showing how firefighters and others saluted Loxton as the funeral procession passed by. Sean Moody tells us how people remembered him. Matt Logsdon made a big impact on people across Kentucky. He was from here in Louisville, but he served with the Lexington Fire Department for about 10 years. He was also a big part of getting the firefighter cancer bill passed this past legislative session. Today, those firefighters from all across Kentucky gathered here at Northeast Christian Church to say goodbye. Lexington Fire Captain Dustin Whited hates days like this one. Yeah, this is not the first, the first time. Hopefully, it's the last. Well, a day like today, it's a big deal. I mean, we're there. Everybody, everybody's hurting right now, and, and everybody knows it. So, so we're here to, to help out any way we can. We're, we're supporting each other, you know, just asking if anybody needs anything, offering condolences, things like that. Inside the church, speakers talked about the legacy Logston left behind, the cancer bill putting other people's lives ahead of his own, and being generous with his time. Lexington Fire Chief Kristen Chilton said we all need to honor that legacy. These firefighters also talked about the brotherhood of the fire service. The fire department, we talk about it and people say it all the time, but we really only get to prove it on really good days and really bad days, and this is one of those. As Logston's procession pulled away from the church, along with the truck he used to ride, White had said Logston would always be a part of their team. He's engine eight, so I mean, he, he will always be engine eight from now on. They also talked a lot about family inside here. As long since funeral service was wrapping up, the speaker asked every firefighter in that room to stand up. He then told Longston's wife and three children that that was their family now and they'll always be there for them. In Louisville, Sean Moody, WKYT. Tremendous support there for him and the family. There's another fundraiser for Longston's family on July 19th at Connemara Golf Course in Nicholasville.